Hello. Today, I will guide everyone on how to use BIMSpeed's Beam Rebar tool. Select the beam you want to add rebar to. In the main interface, you can customize and modify rebar placement at necessary locations according to standard usage. For additional options, such as creating detailed beam drawings, adding beams that support columns, including secondary beams, generating rebar for multiple beams simultaneously, or adjusting settings, you can make all these changes directly within the interface. If you need more detailed adjustments, click the Go to Detail Rebar Forms button to access the Detailed Beam Rebar Design section. Here, you can modify the selected rebar parameters from the beginning or add further adjustments as needed. Select a rebar type to edit its parameters. Select the rebar in the image or choose from the list to edit the desired object. Now you can edit the previously set parameters such as diameter, quantity, starting axis, ending axis, and anchorage length. The main top bar and main bottom bar have similar editing options. In the Add Top Bar section, the layout differs from the main top bar, as the rebar will not span the entire beam but will be cut to avoid waste. Therefore, when selecting the object, the adjustable parameters will include rebar layer, quantity and diameter, position, rebar start type, rebar end type, rebar length within the beam, and anchorage length. For the bottom rebar layer, due to the load bearing in the middle of the beam, the layout differs from the top layer, and it will be cut at a position offset from the column edge by an anchorage length. The stirrup rebar includes four sections. Stirrup distribution, additional stirrup, hanger bar, stirrup shape. In the stirrup distribution section, you can edit information such as stirrup diameter and spacing arrangement. If additional stirrups or hanger bars are needed, you can make adjustments in the additional stirrup and hanger bar for second beam sections. You can also select the desired stirrup shape for each case in the stirrup shape section. In cases where the beam is too tall and requires additional structural rebar, you can add it in the anti-bulge rebar section. Now let's quickly go through how to use the tool to create rebar for beams.